those like negative thoughts and trying to be like figuring out everything and all the worry and all the anxiety that is from the enemy that is that is a direct attack so you don't get to where God has promised for you and I I didn't even mean for this to get all super preachy because honestly what I got on here to talk about was to be delusional but I feel like maybe God is speaking through me right now but call it delusional call it faith you cannot figure out the logistics of life because life is gonna lie guys yeah, so i don't know if people actually realize this but one decision can really change the whole trajectory of your life and I feel like that is something that would kind of always trip me up because I'm like, I don't really know what, you know, decision to make because I was too afraid that I would fuck my life up. But I think I'm at the point where it's just like, I feel like I never used to have this attitude. I feel like I grew up very, very imaginative. And then once I kind of got to college and then graduated college, I feel like a lot of reality kind of set in. I feel like I lost all touch of just like being a dreamer, being imaginative. And I feel like throughout my entire life, I watched how I manifested certain decisions, whether that be good or bad. And like just kind of thinking back about that now, it's just thinking back, on that now is just realizing like the mind is so 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 powerful so if you truly 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 want good for yourself think only good things about yourself and i know that 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 can be like easier said than done but I, what i want people to realize is i want you guys to watch who you are around um i feel like I just feel like even just for myself, I've been around some very logical people. And I feel like having logic is a good thing, but all logic doesn't mean your decision makes the best sense. I kind of feel like I'm at the point where I really, really, really want to just live a soft life. And it's not my it's not my job to figure out the how. Like, I just really don't believe that for myself. Like, sure, I make steps every day to get me to my destination, but I do not think it is my responsibility to figure out how do I get there? Like, okay, I know I want this, but how do I get there? I feel like it is important that we really lay things lay things out to God. Like, really talk to God. Be like, okay, God, I want X, Y, and Z. I feel like if you pray this prayer and you say, like, if it is in your will, like, show me. Holy Ghost, guide me. Like, I just feel like people don't have that kind of attitude when it comes to life. And I feel like if you get caught up in the logic and the how, you'll be stuck in analysis paralysis forever and i feel like that is like me when it comes to having to make a, a decision because it's like well do i do this do i do that because i'm thinking about how and how things will turn out but like i feel like for things that are kind of like far out like in the future like future things that you want you don't necessarily have to make a decision today on how you're going to get there i feel like everything you do is guiding you and giving you the knowledge and giving you the skills and giving you the resources to get wherever you need to be and people will be like oh that'll never happen because you're not doing xyz but that is because they have limiting beliefs within their self like if you think good things are going to happen to you good things are going to happen to you. But if you are a person who is always prepared for the worst, worse is going to happen. And I'm not saying like, don't think that bad things will never happen to you because that's inevitable. Like we live on an earth where everything is terrible, like everything is bad, but you have to be able to look at all the chaos and find the beauty in life. I feel like we if you were a Christian, I just feel like God did not put us on this earth to be freaking spinning our wheels all day confused about some stuff that don't matter. 
Like a lot of this stuff is man-made and it does not matter. But I do not believe God put us here to be stuck in a depression of, oh, I'll never get that because I don't have X, Y, and Z. Why aren't you going out and like, and just saying like, I know that's mine. I don't know how, but I know God got me. Like that is the kind of way you have to show up for yourself in this world. And I think people don't realize the power in their words. Like, I can just give you two examples off the top of my head. Like, when I write things down, they come to fruition. I know everybody likes to do, like, dream boards and stuff like that. But I've done dream boards in the past. And I feel like I get those things on my dream boards, actually. But they don't come as fast as if I write them as if they've already happened. Like, I feel like dream boards is kind of like, okay, I'm going to throw a picture here. I'm going to throw a picture there. Um, I think it was my 2020 dream board or 2021 dream board. I had a Jeep Wrangler on my dream board. I mean, I got my Jeep Wrangler in 2022. So it's like, I still got those things, but it was like a much more delayed process versus writing it, writing it down. And I, I don't know the scripture, but I know there is a script. I don't know where exactly, but there is a scripture in the Bible. It says, write the vision and make it plain. And I feel like a lot of people don't believe in themselves enough to just write the crap down. Just write it down. Write it as it is so. Like you have to bring those things into your force field. You have to bring that energy. You have to bring those vibrations like closer to you. Have you ever been like around people and they're just like super miserable and then like that energy just starts to kind of like latch onto you? Just think about it. But it is some power in separating yourself and finding good positive people around you. And then let me circle back to this because I did say like it's power in writing. So, um, I guess this was 2021. So 2021, I had a nodule growing on my thyroid. Um, they had to biopsy it. And they were like, it looks um, atypical. So it's abnormal. They're like, it's a 50% chance it could be cancer. And that freaked me out. It freaked me out, one, because my mom had just had thyroid cancer probably like the year or two prior. And I'm just like, what the heck? And it I and this is why I say like it is so important to watch who you surround yourself with, watch what kind of energy you're taking in, because I feel like because she had the the thyroid issue, like I somehow absorbed the energy within her space because at that point in time, like I was living with her. So I'm watching her go through all of this. It's also like we, it was just kind of like a stressful environment. I had just graduated from college. I'm back home. My brother's in high school. It was just a chaotic kind of situation, a big transition. And I just feel like the stress of me seeing her go through that and then me like just having this fear of like, oh, I would never want that to happen to me. And it's kind of like, I mean, it did. But in that same situation, I could have like, I could have gotten my whole thyroid removed and said like, oh, well, because my mom's was cancer, that means mine is going to be cancer. But no, like, and I wasn't loud and boisterous about it. Like, I know it's not cancer. I'm claiming it's not cancer because I was like, I was legit fearful. But I wrote in my journal, I wrote as if these were, I wrote a journal entry and I, I'll have to find the journal for you guys one day. I wrote a journal entry as if this was the day I talked to the doctor and they told me that it was benign. Like I literally wrote, wow, I just talked to the doctor and they told me that the nodule is benign. Thank you, Jesus. Like I wrote it like that. Like I put that out there. I wrote that vision and made it plain. And when the doctor called me, guess what? It was benign. Like I was good. Like, but I didn't, I wouldn't say I had huge like faith about it, but like it says in the Bible, all you need is a mustard seed of faith. But I feel like when you're around such negative people, it's hard to even have the mustard seed. Like if people are too logical, it's hard to have that mustard seed because they're always spewing the negativity of what if, what if, what if. And you can have that that mentality of what if this happens, what if that happens. But I feel like you have to know, okay, if that happens, I know God got me. God going to reroute you. 
Like if it is meant to be, you gonna you gonna get rerouted and you're gonna get it eventually if it's in God's will for you. But I also feel like you have to take those things that aren't, you know, in God's will for you and take it as like, okay, that's rejection. Rejection is protection. Like that was not meant for me to go there. That was not meant for me to stay in that relationship. That door was meant to be closed to teach me this so I could then go into this and meet this kind of person. I feel like we have to think about rerouting. I mean, I feel like we have to think about like rejection as like a reroute. Like you're just being simply rerouted, boo. Like you don't have to get so caught up in the logistics of life because I feel like you were put here for a reason. Figure out your reason, focus on your reason, and all this other stuff don't matter. God wants you to live a great life. He doesn't want you to be all here sad, but you have to know it is him who has given you everything. It is him who has given you those talents. It is him who gives you that intuition. It has. It is him who gives you those things. Those like negative thoughts and trying to be like figuring out everything and all the worry and all the anxiety, that is from the enemy. That is, that is a direct attack. So you don't get to where God has promised for you. And I, I didn't even mean for this to get all super preachy because honestly, what I got out here to talk about was to be delusional. But I feel like maybe God is speaking through me right now, but call it delusional, call it faith. You cannot figure out the logistics of life because life is going to life. Life be life and life has been life. And I feel like, honestly, I'm in a space where I know my finances are kind of crappy right now. But guess what? I still have a beautiful apartment. I still have a car. I still have everything. I have food. I have everything. Like, I literally do not have to worry about anything. Like, and if, if God was to take all this away, guess what? I know that I will be okay. I know he has instilled gifts talents and strengths in me that can get me out of anything but i need you guys to really 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 stop being hopeless stop surrounding yourself and neg with like negative people like i'm telling you get away from the negative people get away from the small-minded people and i know people can say like oh you're just gonna leave like everybody leave people behind but guess what this is your journey you can't take everybody on the journey with you. When you die, when I die, we are going to stand alone. You are literally going to stand alone. So you need to make sure that you're doing what you need to do for you. And I feel like it's okay to help people, but make sure you're getting to a place to where you can actually effectively help people because two dummies can't do nothing together. And I, and I mean, it's, it's harsh, but... I feel like we do have to leave room for dreaming. We do have to leave room to be delusional. We do have to leave room for faith. Like, just know that it's going to work out. No is protection. Bad things, they can reroute you. But, like, at the end of the day, know that God has your back. And, like, I just say keep on moving. Like, Yeah, so thanks for coming to my TED Talk today. I don't even really know where this video was kind of like supposed to go. But I just, I kind of just woke up in this space and realized, wow, I've been in Dallas for a year and the whole, my whole life has completely changed around. Like I look at things so much differently now and I just feel like I have a way better quality of life. Not saying everybody back in my home state home city hometown are bad but i just feel like you can really learn something from exiting a situation and getting some clarity and just seeing a different outlook and a different way to live like there's so much more to life than being stuck in your hometown going to the same places hanging with the same people and doing the same things like Try something different for yourself. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.